For that day in a row, IBC commissioners and secretariat appeared before the parliamentary joint select committee to shed more light on how to reform the electoral process. Committee chairs Senator James Orengo and Kiraito Morongi invited the opinion of the commissioners regarding proposals by various stakeholders who are calling for the voluntary resignation and compensation for the commissioners. According to the committee, the approach would save time as well as restore public confidence in the country's electoral process. We have to come out, come out and agree on a dignified settlement on the issue that relates to thematic area number two. From a broader perspective of uh, public interest, uh, and I think we need to resolve this matter in a manner uh, that facilitates uh, an early preparation of those elections. The Commission will not be a stumbling block or st stain in the way of the settlement. The commissioners welcomed the idea and assured the committee of their cooperation once the government provides a dignified settlement. All the nine commissioners echoed remarks by Chair Isa Hassan, insisting that Kenya was greater than any individual. This committee will be judged by in the history of this country as having done a very good job, a very important job. We will not be a stumbling block to any political settlement reach. If it is necessary that uh, uh, we, pro we provide uh, a way such that uh, the country moves on, I have no objection. It has been a privilege serving as a commissioner and also serving this country in various capacity. I live with my head high. Focus now shifts to the Attorney General, who will spearhead the negotiation process between the commissioners and Treasury. Each commissioner is expected to receive salary and allowances for at least 15 months they would have served till November next year. The Parliamentary Joint Select Committee concluded receiving memoranda from the public and will now retreat to prepare a comprehensive report on the electoral reforms. Kevin Washira, Tanoa News.